Hey YouTube, welcome back. My name is Daryl, this is Off Earth, and today I'm gonna show you guys how I do gold. I think you'll really dig this video. One final note, uh, everything that I am using in this video, like I said again, is uh, somewhat affordable. You will need an airbrush setup for this. Uh, I was gonna do a comparison between the gold that I'm using in this video and another concentrate uh, that I shot through my HVLP setup, but I realized the HVLP setup is uh, quite expensive. Um, even if you do cheap out on the actual gun itself, it, 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 you're still hundreds of dollars more uh, over the cost of something like an entry level airbrush. An Iwata Neo from Hobby Lobby will cost you around 60 bucks and uh, a decent airbrush or a HVLP spray gun is going to run you 150-ish or more. So I'm going to skip over that and I just wanted to let you know that you are going to need an airbrush for this setup. Uh, preferably something with a 0.5 millimeter needle and nozzle. Uh, just I like that better for coverage when you're spraying larger parts like the rescue helmet. It's bigger than you know what I would consider an airbrush designed to do. Yeah, just wanted to drop that on you. So if you have an airbrush, then you'll be able to get rolling with this. I'll also leave a link in the description below of all the products that I use personally uh, for this build. And they will be affiliate links. You know, a little bit of a kickback helps me out. Things cost money, filament, paints, etc. So if you do plan on buying it, I would appreciate you using those affiliate links uh, to help out the channel a little bit. So let's get into it. So once again, here are our chromes today. We have uh, Duralumin by the Digital Armory. This is right now only on sale on his Etsy store when it is in stock. He also has another uh, version of it, which is the uh, Duralumin Tough which is supposed to have the same kind of properties of clearing your chrome and making it really, really, really hard to rub off. Um, I'm gonna save this for another project. We have the Spastics Mirror Chrome and the Old Faithful All Clad Chrome. So we're getting ready to drop our gold over these and I'll show you what we're gonna do. So to get to the cost effect of gold, what we're going to end up using is a Copic ink uh, marker or the refill, better yet, from Copic inks. And uh, judging off the cap of this, if you can see, it's kind of like a tan color. Uh, this color is actually called light camel. I don't know if you can see that. Focus. Oh, it's upside down. Focus. There we go, E55, light camel. So we're gonna put this in our airbrush and uh, blow it over this chrome at about uh, 15 to 20 PSI. You're just gonna do a couple light passes and you'll be able to see exactly how I do it here in the uh, time lapse. There's a better angle of them. That's the Duralumin. That's the all clad. And my personal favorite for this there we go. Spastics Mirror Chrome. 
just wow, that finish is amazing. All right, so we're just gonna jump ahead here and uh, the main purpose of this video was to show you the uh, Copic Ink E55 light camel over airbrushed chrome paints. So I'm just going over my rescue helmet faceplate here with uh, Spastic's mirror chrome. Uh, that one I believe had the best shine to it. Uh, after you know application of the gold, it looked the best to me under direct light. One final thing before I put the gold down on this, I'm going to brush it with steel wool to give it that brushed metal look. All right, and here we are spraying the gold down over the face plate, um, just building it up in the light passes, just trying to get the desired opacity that I want. I really would like a rich gold out of this. So I'm taking multiple passes. Once again, I'm spraying this at around 20 PSI through an Iwata Eclipse airbrush. So that's the technique. Fairly simple, if you have an airbrush, anybody can do it. Um, just takes a little practice, light on the hand when you're applying the chrome, and also the same thing when you're doing the gold, you don't wanna just blow it out. Um, and I'm gonna lay a couple disclaimers on you guys, as well as do like a quick little price breakdown of all of this. Disclaimer, this is an alcohol ink that you're spraying. The Copic uh, alcohol ink is a refill for their marker. That's the marker, like you saw in the video, you have that clear tube of liquid that's flowing in it that you'd use to squeeze down in here to refill this marker. Now the stuff is, like I said, inexpensive, and I'll get to that in the price breakdown, but the thing is is that with that uh, alcohol ink, you need to clear it, um, and the way that I found that works the best for me, aside from 2K Automotive, is to use the uh, all clad gloss clear coat. Um, stuff works great. Just do a couple light passes. I think it says one to two medium coats at 20, 25 PSI and you're done. You let it dry and you can handle it. Um, if not, you're, you're, you'll mess it up. It's, it stays kind of tacky. It never really like fully hardens. So that's the big disclaimer make sure that you are clear coating your alcohol inks after you lay them down on your piece and finally before i throw some b-roll of the finished helmet at you guys do a quick price breakdown so for spastics ultimate mirror chrome the copic uh e55 light camel ink refill and the all clad clear gloss coat you're running yourself somewhere around 28 bucks for what I think is a super realistic looking gold finish. I mean, there's still reflectivity in this. And like I said, I've coated it so I can touch it. It, it doesn't do anything. I'm in a cold garage so I can hit it. You see the moisture on it, it would dissipate, it's fine. Um, but that setup will run you around 28 bucks. Like I said, the Ultimate Mirror Chrome, I get it at my local hobby shop, it's $13. The Copic Ink you can get on Blick Art, Art Supply, blah, Blick Art Supply, and it's $5.39. Sorry, I'm looking at a price sheet. And the All Clad Clear Coat Gloss, eight to 10 bucks, depending on where you get it from, either online, but then you have shipping or you can go to a local hobby store, which I do, and I think it's like $8.99 for what, four ounces of this stuff. So yeah, so you're looking at around $28. Now on the high end, you have the Sim Candy Concentrate California Gold. This alone costs $60 by itself. 
and this has to be mixed with 2K automotive clear coat, which runs you around, from what I found, the stuff that I use is between $75 to $100 for the kit. So on the light end, it's 135 bucks. On the high end, it's $160. So you do the math, there's a lot of savings there by going with this method here. So like I said, this is an affordable and very realistic looking gold, and I implore you to go out and try it. And if you do, you love it, drop a comment below, like, subscribe, share, do all that jazz, and I'll see you guys in the next one.